or remove the wheel, use a 22 millimeter socket. And you pull the wheel off. I'm going to take this nut off, use a 24 millimeter socket. You're going to take these two bolts out and there's two nuts on top. Use an 18 millimeter wrench to hold the nuts. And then 18 millimeter socket on the bottom. Take those out. Take these trim clips off. Just use a trim clip tool. Now you can use a pry bar. Just pry on the control arm a little bit. Try to slide this out. You can take a hammer and just give it a tap. And pry it off. Just like that. Take the new bushing. There is a ring right here, this steel ring that goes towards the back of the vehicle. Um, this happens to have a blue collar right here. The white one is, goes towards the front of the vehicle. And just slide this in position. There we go. Now it's lined up, I'll just give it a tap on there. Make sure you use a rubber hammer or a dead blow. that to line up. That's good. Now I'll get that nut started and take these bolts. Get these bolts started and put the nuts on top. Now I'll snug these up first. And then use a torque wrench and torque these to 55 foot-pounds. Then I'm going to use a screw jack and raise up the lower control arm. You want this as close to ride height as possible. Ideal, you would want to put the tire on, lower the vehicle down to ride height, and then torque this, but it's not easy to get a torque wrench underneath the vehicle. So do the best you can. Then torque this nut to 140 foot-pounds. And lower the control arm down. And put the tire on. Now I'm going to torque these lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern or a star pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Now I'll go around again, just double check. 